Um, if you didn't know, little known fact, Jennifer Lopez is the reason why Google, Google Images exists. And I think that is gagging. I'm so I sorry. I will give her her sixes. <laughs> okay. and I that's think she deserves it. a 10 for that. I'll give she her She deserves her a 10 sixes. for she, she deserves a 10 for being the inspiration for, for Google Images. That's kind of iconic. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Darius. And this video is for the gross. It should cost a billion to look that good. Today I have Malik with me and we are at Wendy's. We already got our food. Um, we basically came here to try this Cinnabon um, pull apart thing and they actually did me <laughs> dirty. Cause what <laughs> is this? That looks actually really crazy. Like why would they give me that little tiny dollop of, I just think that this is so crazy. I don't know, mm. whatever. Um, I'm not gonna eat it cause I don't want to go inside and do all that other stuff. I just can't do that right now. Um, I got a 10 piece um, spicy nugget with some baconator fries, and that's literally all I got. And a, and a mango pineapple drink. I got, they have a new bacon chicken ranch wrap. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'm particular with my chicken, only when it's like this. Like, I think I'm less particular when it's on the bone, but when it comes in like cubes, like, I hate this. Like, it's like a fajita style chicken. So you just don't like that style, or you don't like their version of it? I don't like this style, and it always tastes the same. Did you not know it was gonna be like, uh, like that um well i guess you just saw it right yeah i just saw it when we were pulling up um i don't know i feel like everything is very hit, hit or miss for me i usually get when they have it i guess the um the ghost pepper fries and they're so good and i don't know if i'm gonna like these and every single one of my fries dropped into oblivion they did. There's a lot. What's your favorite um um chicken nugget? Chicken nugget. Um, I'm um, I think either McDonald's or Chick Fil A. Uh, those are not comparable to me. What do you mean? I think Chick-fil-A is way better quality than this Donald's Chicken Nugget. I don't care about the quality. You don't care about the quality? Taste. Um, well, that's what I mean, too. Oh. Um, now, you can tell Chick-fil-A's um, nuggets are, like, just breast. Or I don't know how to explain it. Instead of just ground up, you know? Um. Well, they're changing all that. Who? They're adding... Did you not hear about that? I'm they're not adding, going. like, I don't care. GMO or something. I thought your thing was open. They're adding like GMO or something. Their food, their chicken isn't gonna be all natural anymore. Okay. Why? They, they came out with an announcement for that? Yeah. Am I making this up? Mm-mm. That's true. I've never heard it, but. Why do only gay people work at Chick-fil-A? Have you noticed that? That's fake. No, it's not. It is. Uh, I feel like they always have homosexual uh, workers at Chick-fil-A, which is ironic. I only see white high schoolers. Really? Mm-hmm. Does Chick-fil-A... Oh, they're doing... They're not doing their... They're, they used to have a no antibiotics pledge or something, but now they're not doing that? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's too um, expensive. I want to know why um, places don't do spicy nuggets like all year round. Like I think McDonald's should do that. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think they should too, but I don't think that McDonald's has to really do anything. They don't, which bothers me because that means they don't ever have to be innovative. They don't have to do things. You like, I don't like Wendy's Nuggets. Um, I think they're okay. And I really don't like Burger Kings. That's because they'll sell you 60 yeah. of them for 39 cents. <laughs> they will cent. do that. Okay, but do you remember when they used to be crowns? Or no? Um, no, you always like say something 
that I just never was there for. It's in 2001. Okay. <laughs> when you were um, a month old. Do you guys remember when Burger King chicken nuggets were crowns? Burger King crown nuggets. But I also never went to Burger King. When I was younger. So. This is what they look like. Exactly. And they're going to jail for that. Burger King is bringing back this fan favorite menu item. And that was in 2021, and they just definitely didn't do that. Or maybe they did. Well, I'm really just not here for it, so. I think we can start getting into the sh shapes that are just not natural. What? At the time, it was um, a reset. Okay, were you there for the snack wraps at McDonald's? Mm, I think so. I didn't, I don't know. Remember getting one, but I remember it. Were you there for the Mighty Wings? No, I wasn't there for any of these plate things you're talking about. You don't, did you guys remember the Mighty Wings from McDonald's? I think I remember the Mighty Wings, but I never got them. Did you? Um, no, but my mom used to fuck them up. You ever had it? You ever tried it? Probably. Maybe. I just think at the time, wings from McDonald's sounded a little crazy. <laughs> More than a little crazy. Have you ever had the McRib? Have I've you? had it, yeah. Like once. So what's your verdict on the wrap? Um, it was mediocre. Uh, honestly, the chicken wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been. But it wasn't... It wasn't bad. It was okay. What's your verdict on the bacon nugget? Um, the fries? Yeah. He's the baconator. Well, those are baconator fries. Oh, I didn't know. Mmm. I hate them. You actually? No. They're good, but... They're not the ghost pepper fries. Mm hmm. So I feel like I like my stuff, um, or I really like the ghost pepper fries because I feel like they're actually spicy. I hate when, like, these nuggets aren't spicy to me, or, like, Okay, most but I don't get spicy. what the point is of spice. What do you mean? Well, like, sometimes it's an uncomfortable flavor. Why would you want something that's uncomfortable? Well, I think it depends on if it's uncomfortable to you. Like, well, you said you hate when something's not spicy. Enough, yeah. So what is enough? Tastes like no, when you feel a tingling. That's what I'm saying. Why do you want to feel that? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I mean, there's a lot. There's, I mean, it's an experience. Like, you're trying to... Exp I don't know how to explain, like... Well, it. to me, I think it's like... I, I get things having a spiciness to them. But I don't understand why people want really spicy things. Well, I don't want it really spicy, but this is not spicy at all to me. I want something that I feel like is spicy. What happens is your tolerance, you know, builds. So because I have a higher tolerance um, now, this is not, nothing that- But I, I think that sounds crazy that you have to build a tolerance to a food. Well, you're building tolerance to spice. It's like same with like, um, probably like sugar and salt, which we don't think about because we eat so much sugar and salt just in our everyday diets. But if we like completely cut out sugar and salt, like things that are not that sweet would taste really sweet. We'd be like eating an apple to going, this is sweet. Because you get used to like, I don't know, but heat specifically, like spicy foods, um, you just naturally get a higher tolerance. And I don't think anything I could ever eat at a fast food restaurant that's spicy. What? Sorry, I thought something, I saw something like fall behind the car or something, I don't know. Anyways, anything that's spicy, would um not be spicy to me. So you're saying you think if you ate a, a nugget, it would be spicy to you? No. Oh. But I'm saying, I'm just simply, you said, I don't, I, the, those pepper things are the only things that were hot enough. And I think that those spicy nuggets are fine. I've had them. You but, think they're, they're spicy? No, I just think they're fine. I think they have, I think that what fast foods do with the spiciness is what I think that spiciness should be. Mm. I don't think that it should be... Oh my god, I can't take this. I think that's weird. But I didn't say that. I just said no, I want to be said, more than... No, I said what is enough mean? You I said, said, more, I said to feel a tingling. Not, a tingling oh, sounds a crazy. A tingling is not, oh my god, I can't take this. 
That's very different. A tingling sounds a little crazy. I think That's I want spice my spice. Is. Like I can do like a jalapeno. Okay. Um, I think some jalapenos are really hot. It just depends. Of course, I think it has something to do with the seeds. Yeah, it is definitely the seeds, but like also, I think it just depends on where they're from. Or I don't know what makes them more spicy, but sometimes I've had a jalapeno that's not spicy at all, and sometimes I've had one where like it is like unbearably hot. But see, some people like that. But mm. I think it's like I think that there's a spicy like a epidemic because I think that if somebody was like, oh my god. I think that there's some people who like things that are really sweet, but then you're like, why do you like that? But then nobody says anything to spicy people. And I'm trying to um, rise up. What do you up. mean that are really sweet? Sweet. I think some people like really, really sweet things. Have you never had anything that, and you're like, this is too sweet? Um, yeah, but I think the variety is different for a spiciness. I think that something like this, like, is super not spicy, and then you can get something that's really, really spicy. But I feel like with sweet things, like, like a pastry or something, or like the cinnamon thing, it's like I'm not gonna think. I don't think I'll ever have a cinnamon where I'm like, this is just too sweet. Or I don't know. I guess it could have more sugar. But what? Common, I've had multiple things that I've been like, this is way too sweet. I feel like those cookie cakes are always too sweet. What cookie cakes? You just like a cookie cake. You never had a cookie oh, cake. Oh yeah. I don't know. Um, Were you going to say comment down below? Did you try it? I can't because I don't have a thing. Which oh, is a crazy. fork? Yeah, they didn't give it. It's supposed to be pull apart. Does that mean handheld? That sounds insane. Well, let's just try it and see. We're trying to... Oh. <laughs> I said we're trying anything in his mouth and I don't know what to tell you. Mine doesn't have anything on it, by the way. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um... I'm growing as a person because normally What's I What's that thing? Is that a fork or a knife? That's a knife. Let me have it. Um, I think I'm growing because normally I would not be able to um, eat anything with the same fork. I'm actually probably going to... I just talked about it too much. And oh. I have to wipe it off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's really funny. Now, who was the third headliner for Coachella? Um, because I know it was Lana and, and Doja. Blur. Who? Blur. Blur. Yeah. I think it was Blur. So that's why I never heard about him. Because what does that mean? And that K-pop group. They were headlining. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay, so that's why I only heard about Doja. I might be making this up. You have to be. Let me see. Um, Hit the road, yeah. um, that's weird that they did that. I hate it. This is just giving the McDonald's. Yes, that's exactly thing. what I was waiting for you. Uh, oh, it's Tyler the Creator. Who's Blur? I don't know. Oh, Blur's the second name. So don't try me. Blur is the second name. Okay, but that's clearly not the headliner because I said, who Okay, is but that? they're right there. I don't know why it's doing that. Um,. Uh, it was Tyler the Creator. Okay, well, I still didn't hear about him at all. I did, and he had like Childish Gambino and Wow, it's up Rocky and Rihanna. I guess I'm only with the girls online. He did not have Rihanna. Mm. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> these aren't bad. How much were they? No idea. If they're over two ninety nine, absolutely not. They probably are. But if they're under, yes, I mean go for it. It's probably five dollars. Five dollars is insane. Not five dollars. Well, mm, I just got a middle piece. I just got a middle piece that hit a little five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, all my stuff has been a dollar ninety nine. The whole way. So. Mm. Hit the road, Jack. And did you see that one? I swear one of the K-pop groups. I don't know what their names are. But they ate. And it was like. Um, at the end, it was like Stevie Wonder. Um, and it was going, I don't want to go. And they were, she was going, no, but I want to. I don't know how to explain it other than that. <laughs> hey. I wasn't there. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think they ate. Well, let's talk about. 
um, the invasion of privacy. And I think Coachella, like, I just feel bad that I feel like everybody is being filmed. I feel like I've never seen as many celebrities just I doing really things. Um, like, without knowing that there's a camera there. And that makes me uncomfortable. Like, I feel like yeah. I'm, I'm open-eyed to the voyeurism. Well, the only one... I saw Rihanna was there. Mm -hmm. um, and she was trying to fix her thing. Did you see that? Mm -mm. That made me uncomfortable, too. What was she trying to fix? Uh, her something was wrong with her boa, or whatever she was wearing. Asa Brock was going. Uh, he was looking at a zombie behind you. And that made me uncomfortable. I saw Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> she was just trying to like look natural. It looked really scary. It was, and not even in the hater way. Because why? I just feel like people need to leave people alone. Like I do. I be. And it's fine. Okay, fine. You can film celebrities whatever but like from a distance i think that the, there was a lady like there was a person filming and then in the the video you can see somebody next to taylor swift like this with the camera that like that's kind of crazy filming her like she was definitely trying to like film i don't know that's so awkward and they were in like a really big um they were in the pit they were in the pit and i just want to know why I wouldn't do that if I was Taylor Swift. Um, Sorry, I'm not. I'm just don't want to be. But she said you, she always wanted to go to Coachella and be a normal girl. Did she say that? Yes, she did. Um, well, um, I guess she didn't care about the cameras then. But I just definitely would be like. But they can but, I get peace? But she was looking like they said that she was looking like she was on Molly. I saw that. Um, I did, and I said, okay, well. And I don't think that she was. I don't think she was either. But they were they were trying to say it. But like I she think just it's like, I, do you know how, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, and then Jaden Smith and Justin Bieber. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's going on there. And then did you see Justin Bieber's going, nigga, say shit. Go boom, 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 boom. At Doja Cat. What? <laughs> you didn't see that? He no, was, I didn't. He didn't say anything, but he was feeling it. Oh. Um, and Haley Bieber was going, I'm Haley Bieber. The um the Justin Bieber and Jaden Smith thing. Did you see the way he looked at him after he did that? He yeah. said, "Because oh. he's probably like, I don't know. That made me uncomfortable. I, I, the whole video made me uncomfortable because like, I don't know. No, but I think he he didn't know that it was him. Mm. And then when he did, he gave him a kiss. Mm. I think I do remember that. And that happened to Noah back too. What? That's crazy. Noah Beck. Well, not at Coachella. This there is one of the things that did happen at Coachella. You filmed the video of him and that guy. What's his name? Mm -hmm. Arma Armani or something like that. I don't know. Um at Coachella. And they were doing whatever, I don't know. Hugging or something. And everyone on Twitter was like, Oh my god. So they much. said, Oh my goodness, he's finally coming out. And everyone's like, please just let them be friends. Oh, I know. What you're and that's about. so weird that that happened at the same time that Justin Bieber and and, and I feel like that happened. all that this one wait, is this one I'm talking about? No, I think people do too much. Like I don't know. Like I just want like imagine not being able to live, and I just think that's so uncomfortable. And I'm just trying to listen. And he kept on moving his, and he's gonna. And they said, "Is he saying it? Is he saying it?" I like um, Doja Cat. I, did, I think that she did well in, in, of the clips that I saw. I think she did too. Did you hear how they were like saying like when the deluxe album came out, they were like, what is that? Ball hair? <laughs> I was there for that. Let's talk about that. I was there for the fact that she, um, I guess she's, you know, buzzed her hair off or whatever. And then the, the deluxe picture is just like a close up of that. And everyone was like, wow, like, is this pubic hair? That's and she she went online. She said, so what we're not going to do is compare black people's 4C hair to pubic hair. And everyone said, girl, now all of a sudden you want to rely on, um, on, she the was like, girl? really? Yeah. She was really like trying not to say any, like that it was racist or anything. And she was like, she was like, well, it's I a think little that is weird. Crazy. It is crazy. No, I agree. People weren't disagreeing with her saying it was crazy, but they were saying, so now you want to like, because all the other issues in her past of letting them um, 
call her slurs on those live forms and whatever. Yeah. And they said, you picked this fan base. Like, you applauded when they were doing all this stuff to you before. And now you're trying to cry wolf saying, you can't compare black people's hair to um, pubic hair. And it's like, well, what about the other stuff that you let them do? Yeah, you chose that. that is crazy. You chose that audience. Like we, if if it was us still there, we would have we would have been like check like absolutely not. Like you can't do that. But you chose this new fan base by letting them do whatever they want. I guess and she is, dated that. She's still dating that. Bro. Oh, I didn't know it was a still. She's still dating Jay Cyrus, who is crazy and insane and looks crazy and is insane. Um, and I just think crazy. that's so interesting. Um, have you been seeing like the um um like I'm begging you please don't take my man or or whatever Beyonce's Jolene but it's like showing everybody's boyfriends like Ethan Slater, Benny Blanco, no, Jay Z. What are the girls doing? Because <laughs> I just think that's so interesting because I feel like all those people look really crazy. Um, um and Benny Blanco looks insane. Um, I think that. I don't know. But I didn't know that was real. Like, I didn't know that him and Selena Gomez were actually... Doing... Really? I don't... I just couldn't believe it. I don't know. It seems like a weird pairing, I definitely. But I, I knew that they were. Because she always posted, she said he's the love of my life. No, I didn't... I knew it was real then. But, like, when that first came out, I just didn't believe it. And they're going... I think Benny Blanco is an interesting character. I think in, he's in Dave. And I think he's really funny and personable in Dave. So maybe he seems she nice sees. and funny. And maybe fun. that's what she sees. He's a good producer. Yeah, I don't know what he's produced. Beautiful but gowns. Beautiful gowns. He's always <laughs> going. He's always going. I was in the studio. He's always telling one story. I swear with somebody. He's going. They came in the studio. They got in the booth, and it took them ten point seven seconds. Um, I don't know who it was though, but he's cool. I think he is cool. He does those little high. Um, uh, cooking vlogs on TikTok. Um, what was I going to say? Now, let's talk about J-Lo. What about her? <laughs> Did you hear ticket prices? Are like $5,000? Yes, $5, I saw that. Somebody said it was like seven grand for the most expensive ticket. And they said, what was that? Um, now, I understand the ticket Do you have any J-Lo stands in the chat? There's probably some J-Lo stands here. Um, I just want to know what block it was that she was on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Didn't you say that the girls know about the older people know about the orange the older, drink? Apparently, the older girls know about the orange drink. So, if you don't know the 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 tea behind this, I guess. Um, uh, J Lo in her documentary or whatever. Wait, did you see? I'm sorry, I'm gonna go right back to that. Do you did you see her go to that house? She went to a house in her documentary. That's old, but I know what you're talking. Okay, about. I didn't know it was old. And the guy said, like, "I don't know who the." Fuck she said, "I used to live." Here. <laughs> she said, "I used to live here," and he said. Okay. <laughs> and she said, she said, yep, I had to live the room upstairs. I was a little girl. And he said, all right. And he said, what's your name? She said, Jennifer. And he said, huh? <laughs> she said, Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. And he said, okay. Yeah, and that's that so is embarrassing. so embarrassing that he but had she's no always idea. been like, that's old. That's from years ago. And I think that's so embarrassing. <laughs> and they said, why would you put this in there? Or like, I don't know. it was something else, really, like another documentary or something. Yeah, she she's did. always trying to document. <laughs> I don't understand down. what went wrong, but was did she do a I I, I think swore. she was too much of a hater. I don't know what happened because and they always, I like her. I don't. What's wrong with Jennifer Lopez? I think that something happened where I think she doesn't like Beyonce. Um hmm. and she thinks she's more talented than Nikki. And you should not hear about with that with the butt. She's like, I'm the original big butt. Oh, I think I remember her saying that. And which I don't know. I guess it was like early two thousands when she was known for the butt. She's the reason why Google Images. We already talked about that. That's her. I'll give that was her a dress. seven. <laughs> that was a dress. But I'll I think they were talking her about her seven. butt in that. I don't think they were. I think that they were. They were talking about her butt in the dress too. That's fake. You couldn't even see her butt in the dress. Um, if you didn't know, little known fact, Jennifer Lopez is the reason why Google, Google Images exists. And I think that is gagging. I'm so I sorry. will give her her sixes. <laughs> okay. and I think she it. deserves a 10 for that. I'll give she her deserves her a 10 sixes. for she's a, She deserves a 10 for being the inspiration for, for Google Images. That's kind of iconic. But this has nothing to do with her butt at all. And look at all the people trying to recreate it. But I swear when she turned around, she turns around at one point. 
Look at the turnaround picture, dog. Okay, well, this is what would come up without gave her Google Images. Whatever. So. Anyway, I think that at that time, though, I think at that time, when she was like, you know, like, nobody was out here looking like me. Like, nobody had my, um, my butt, my body. Is okay, what she said. that's fine. <laughs> and I said, okay. She can have her flowers when she's dead. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. Um, um, let me tell you what she did. So, basically, what were we saying that she did? I forgot. You the, were just saying no, the, the orange drink. Yeah, yeah, the orange drink. So, basically, she, um, in her documentary, is talking about how... Uh, or no, no. Was that seventy three questions with Vogue? Which one? The when she said the the orange drink. I think that was the questions with Vogue because he asked. Yeah, her, she said he was like and she was walking around. She said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, she said ham and Swiss on a roll. And he, she did orange drink okay. and a bag of chips. The question was that's so embarrassing. The question was. Um, what do you say? Like, have you ever been to a bodega? Bode- it was no, about said, a bodega. What's your go-to bodega? Yeah, order? what's your go-to bodega order? And she said, "What do I get at the bodega?" Mm-hmm. And everyone kept on talking about how she said bo- the way she said bodega because I apparently apparently supposed to say it differently. I don't know. And they're like, "If you were really from the Bronx, you would know." Um, and she is from the Bronx, Bronx for real. But she said, "No, but I heard she's not." That's fair. I heard she's from Fremont. I don't even know what that is, but I heard she's from something. <laughs> she's state. not from Fremont. I don't even know what Fremont is, but I heard she's not. From, I swear, I saw people on TikTok say that she's from like. A little bit past. I don't know. Well, I, the New York people don't claim her. They don't, which is so interesting. But I think that. But after I saw that clip of the parents being like, "I know what this stuff is," like the orange drink and the the, the roll. I feel. But like I also like, think that parents just say that they know. That. I think that that's so too. I think that's true too. Um, but anyway, so J Lo was asked, "What do you? What is your go to bodega order?" And she says. Ham and cheese, ham and Swiss on a roll, ham and cheese on a roll, you know, and then I get a small bag of chips and um, the orange drink. If, if you, you know, know, you know. know. If you know, you know. If you know and you the know. girl said, we don't know. <laughs> what orange drink? We don't know. They said, what orange drink? What small bag of chips? They said, are you getting the, um, I don't know, but it was very funny because, but it's all like gen z and millennial bronx people right so i was like well maybe we should give her the benefit of the doubt i think gen z's disrespectful i think that we are too um i think i only learned that with rue but i think that we don't ever give like the older i think i think that in recent years i'm realizing that every what i'm trying to say we're getting older now and there are younger people than us so we're recognizing that there is disrespectfulness, but I think it always has happened. Like, for example, can you imagine back in the day when, um, you know, ex pop star was that girl? And like, you know how many people I see on on Twitter, like Madonna is just that girl, and she was, and like, or like Britney Spears, and I'm like, okay, not that there's anything wrong with Madonna or Britney Spears, but I'm saying like, in my mind, my fave is Beyonce, but that's because I was just of a different generation. So I can respect Madonna and, and Britney Spears and still have Beyonce be my fave. But then it's like when people start comparing in the new generation. So then they'll be like, oh, well, which is why we get, you know, um, somebody said Sabrina Carpenter is Ariana Grande. See, but that doesn't mean, I don't think that's the same thing because I think people can be disrespectful to like Madonna and Mariah Carey and Britney Spears. But I think that that's because what they are giving now is um okay um you know okay and i think that it's different because ariana grande is still here and present right and still doing things beyonce is still here and present and still doing things that are normal um so i think that that's why it doesn't make any sense so when obviously if i'm seeing madonna she's going bitch i'm madonna and she's making out with she drake that. she did actually eat that <laughs> she's making out with drake like i don't know and then when I'm seeing Britney Spears, she's she's dancing around with knives. Do you know what I'm talking about? I was not there. Are you that. kidding? You don't knives? see these, You don't see these things and she's going, oh yeah. <laughs> I saw her do a little jig. She's always doing a jig. I, Are you crazy? I always see her doing a jig on live or something. She or... just posts a jig and she'll go, feeling well alive and no. <laughs> I never <laughs> I never was not there for that. She was feeling well alive and that's what she sounds. I wasn't there for that. I am there for Katy Perry, though. I wanted to come back. And she'll just be doing this. Wait, no. I want to see her doing it. I've seen her do this. Yeah, that's all she does. On a thing. And, I and go, she'll have okay. a machete with her. I've, I've never seen the machete. <laughs> 
Authorities reportedly performed a wellness check. Why is she spinning with knives? I have to put that video in there. <laughs> the helicopter. Can you send me that? DM me that. That is so embarrassing because why would she do that? She does that all the time. I mean, I knew that she did a jig and a spin. But she's I didn't know she was holding knives while doing she's it. She's holding knives. Never seen that. And so, I don't know what... <laughs> So, so when you see things like that, I don't know if like I'm gonna be saying that Britney Spears clears. Free Britney though. But I don't think I'm gonna be saying like she's Okay, okay. I think in the sense of RuPaul I, or no, what what I meant was that I think that in the past couple years I've realized that I can, you know, have my fave, but like you just are gonna have your faves of your generation. And I think that automatically people default to being disrespectful because they have their faves. But I'm I, I try to take that or like try to separate that. So like I obviously love Beyonce, but I'm never gonna be like Madonna is like crazy or she doesn't do this this and that. I understand the the, the I name know that Madonna. She was there. Right, I know that she was there. I wasn't there for Madonna because I wasn't alive. But I understand the iconistry of Madonna. I get that. Just the name alone, I think is iconic. But then we start getting people. Like, I, I'll be on Twitter and I'll see Jen Alpha going, oh, old Beyonce. Who's Beyonce? Who's Beyonce is kind of crazy to say. But then again, I'm thinking, like, if I was 10 and I had no idea about Beyonce, would I be like this? But I don't think that's the same thing because Beyonce is still releasing music and still charting music. Charting music and still popular. So I think that that's disrespectful. I don't know. But, like, is. I guess Madonna is, has to release music if she was on the tour. Mm -mm. She had to release. She had a, album. a music. She said that everyone is coming from the future. Was not. <laughs> was not she there. <laughs> she said. <gasps> I forgot. She said. Did you hear the song? Thinking I'm gonna need to be popular. Uh, what this song is actually about? I wasn't there for that. Um, but I okay. Apparently, she's like doing well and breaking records on her tour. Some I don't know. I, I there's this. Her guy. last album was 2019. Did you listen to Madonna? Madame. Man, That's what she said. When everyone is coming from the future with Quavo, and she kind of ate it. I'm not gonna lie, but I didn't listen to anything else. Um, now let's talk about postpartum albums. Um, I went on Tupac's um thing, and he had like maybe eight albums after he had died, and I said this is kind of interesting. Postmortem. Oh, what did I say? You postpartum. said postpartum, and I've been trying to figure out what you're going to leave with. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, um, interesting. Beyonce had a postpartum performance, <laughs> and she ate it. Um, it was actually homecoming, postmortem, whatever. Um, anyway, so I went on this thing, and he had several albums and i just think that's so interesting like well they probably just have so much this music scrap and then obviously but, who's ever trying to use him right they want money stuff the like, state didn't wants that happen money. with juice world it does not always happen with yeah him. it happens with everyone but michael jackson had an album imagine just hearing like i don't know that's kind of scary that is scary because like, it's never happened to anybody who i really well, like it's also songs that um like, weren't supposed to be released, obviously. Or, like, the artist didn't like them enough to release them, so that's weird. Well, that's not for sure. I guess it's not for sure, but... Um, it wasn't good enough to be on whatever album, or whatever time they created around the, that Like, the imagine album. if, like, Beyonce died and then it said Cowboy Carter. Um, and I feel like that would be so weird. Like, Cowboy Carter hadn't come out yet? No, and then, like, she died and then, like, a year later, Cowboy Carter came out. Uh, I would scream, and that would be very weird. <sighs> and that would make me uncomfortable. You know, I often think about the day that Beyonce is going to die. And that's really scary. Or just a general, like, a celebrity that... I haven't really had a celebrity that, like, I, like, love like that, that died. Like, I know the world was shocked when, uh, when Aaliyah died. And my parents would, like, knew where they were. It was very much um, the same equivalent of Princess Diana and um, the Twin Towers. They knew where they were when they found out that Aaliyah died. I think my mom said she was at church or something. Um, and she heard about it. But I'm saying, like... I'm saying, will I actually be sad? Will I be like... You know people cry. Yeah. I'm saying, I do I know, know Beyonce like that to be like... Because I thought I was going to cry when I saw her. What about person. Michael Jackson? People definitely cried for Michael Jackson. I don't know. I know I was when he died. Um, I don't remember, but I remember that... I didn't know he was before he died, though. Did you know that? Are you being serious? I'm being dead ass. 
I didn't know at all who he was. Because I, I was like eight or something, and my parents never played him, never talked to me about him. Really? Nothing. I had no. I was like, I, all I remember is specifically like seeing. I was watching something, and then a banner came up talking about some breaking news: Michael Jackson, blah blah blah, dead. And I was like, I said, who is Michael? And why? And I swear, I was watching something like, like a kid, like I was watching Disney Channel or something. And I was like, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a dream. This is just not true. Okay, well, I was watching something where it came up, but I remember it being, like, a kid's thing. Like, I don't remember it being, like, the news <laughs> or something. Yeah, it was a breaking news. <laughs> it was something like that, I swear. Yeah. Uh, and a banner came up, and it was, like, up next on Disney Channel, and it said, breaking news, Michael Jackson Paris. But, no, I literally, um, I had, I, whatever, I was like, why is it, like, this series that this person died? Like, I, I didn't understand at all who he was. And my parents were in California when it happened, and they found out because they were on a tour, and they were actually supposed to drive past Michael Jackson's house, but they said they they couldn't go because the the street was blocked off. And so I said, "Oh." Um, and my grandma was like, "How do you not know who Michael Jackson is?" So, um, and I didn't. And for the next three months, I became him. I was reincarnated as Michael Jackson. I went <laughs> oh through his whole God. discography, his whole catalog. I said, "Well, he kind of ate this." I was doing the hee hee in the mirror. Um, I was spinning around doing that. And I think he I was ate doing the that. moonwalk. Um, I do think he ate it, um, but I didn't know about him until after he'd already died. That is so, so and that's what I said. Jayla's gonna get her flowers when she dies. Um, because that's from what the you Jen gave Alpha. to Michael. Well, uh, I didn't know, but I think that there are people who do know. Um, and I'll go listen. I love you, Poppy. Um, what? I love you, Poppy. Oh, I love you, Poppy. I forgot she ate that. I'm she sorry. Did. Um, that song's about what songs does she eat? Let's talk about it. I don't she know. She ate, yo quiero, yo quiero dinero. I'm so know. sorry. You weren't there for that? I wasn't there for that. I know what you're talking about, oh, okay. but I wasn't there for that. Um, I think she ate, yo, no, dinero. She said, you know, I can't get she enough. She said, I love me, that. Benjamin Franco, stay at the Wait, bank. That? That's dinero. Oh. And her and Cardi B ate that. I'm so sorry. I wasn't there. Um, And I love you, Poppy. I just remembered mm-hmm. from when I was younger, like two weeks ago. And so other than that. Um, what else did she say? Obviously, she said, I'm still, I'm still Jenny, Jenny from, from the, the block. block. Used to have a little and an orange drink. She said, get on the floor. Oh, yep. She did eat that. Um, she said, Brazil, Morocco, London, to um, Africa. Do you think she was mad she had to perform with Shakira? Um, yes. I think I watched her documentary. I think I'm a, I'm a, a Die fan. I watched her, like... Her, uh, what is it called? Like her, you know, gearing up to perform at the Super Bowl. I think those are always iconic. I like seeing people, the behind the scenes of a performance. Um, but I was watching that and she was like, um, I think that somebody was like, why do you have to have two, like, why do you have to divide the attention of two Latina women or something like that? They said she wasn't enough by herself. Are you being serious? Yeah, so they had to give, they had to, they. <gasps> you know, I did think she ate with booty. Do you remember that? Oh, song? yes! Big, big booty yeah, with like Iggy Azalea. Yes, I she actually about that did song. eat that. So she has a couple bobs. I would say about five. <laughs> <laughs> I would say about five. five is she crazy. slid. She slid five times, and since then she's been rolling. I don't know. She um, has. She been slid rolling. a couple. She, she slid said, a couple I ain't times. Your mama. I wasn't there for that. I do remember her saying Megan that, but Trainor I wasn't there. The one who sings that. Okay, so is it true that she isn't singing? That Shanti sings for her. I don't know, but that is scary if it's true. And they say, "Ooh, Ashanti sounded good here." You see, I think that's I don't, so rude. That's rude. That is rude. <laughs> it's so rude. Um, do you remember she was with P Diddy? No. Okay, so I had watched this video about like, cause I was trying to figure out like, this was bit, when we when we first started hearing the rumors about P Diddy. So I watched a video, like explaining all the stuff that had happened. And apparently, um, in the early two thousands, she used to like date him, and they were at this party, this like club or something and um diddy and his goons apparently had uh apparently had some firearm oh my elbow is kind of looking crazy right now um but anyways he he like they shot somebody in the alley of this club or something like that and she was with them and they they fled from the police like they got in the car and were like almost like like they they got like they left the police whatever that's the spot and then I think she was on a talk show after that. She was done with P Diddy after that. She said, "I can't do it." Um, and it was that like she was like scary. mixed up in the the thing. And, I'd and be pissed. P Diddy has gotten away with a lot of things. I feel like because I don't even think he got in trouble for that. And then they I found want out. a new tell all. Like I'm ready for like a ten part series. 
like an expose of somebody? Yeah, like we haven't had that in a long time. Well, I don't want them. I mean, that means that they're doing crazy things. Okay, well, I want to know what crazy things people are doing. Like, I want another... Okay, well, I don't want it. I want to tell all of, of the Carter family. I'm so sorry. Beyonce and Jay-Z, I need to know, like, everything from 1997 till now. I'm sorry. I need to know um, what Beyonce does when she... When people uh, say crazy things. Is she, like, punching the wall? Or does she care? Punching the wall is crazy. <laughs> is she upset? I want to know... You know, because um, there everyone loves to talk about Jay Z and what he did with other women before Beyonce. Um, I want to know the tea on that. I'm so sorry. I want to know. I don't know. I just want to know a lot of things about Beyonce. She's too secretive. I'm so the, their family's too secretive, and I want to know. I want to know. What do I want to know. know. Um, I don't even know what I, I want to know about Rihanna. Like why? Oh my god! <laughs> just I just want to know what Diddy is doing. I want an expose. I think that's what I'm in the mood for. You know, I he's gonna have one. For sure. I watch. Um, I'm so late on this, of course, but I watched like the Jeffrey Epstein documentary mm -hmm. for the first. time. I didn't watch it. I didn't at first when it came out either, but I watched it like very recently, and yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to jail. He's he, he's going to jail in hell. Oh, okay. Great. He's going to jail in hell. Like that's I why I can't watch it. I didn't. I obviously knew that he was crazy and bad. Yeah, me. That's, that's the extent that I know. But I just didn't know what he was doing. And he was like having these sisters come. No, 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 like... no, no, no. I can't. I can't. It's too much. And this he was is actually doing my channel a lot. I, and all I know is about he had that one woman who was like facilitating it. Yes. Oh, what's her name? That's going to bother me. And that's the one who's, who uh, tried to call out Beyonce for having all those writers on her on Renaissance. That's fake. <laughs> I know. I'm just joking. They uh, look like that. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know who you're talking There's about. There's a woman who's a, a songwriter and she said, eight songwriters on a song why do you have to have an Who army to write this that? song why do i feel like i saw that and she was just at the grammys and she lost and they said maybe you should have had eight writers huh. and that's actually embarrassing because why would she do that and then um it was the dream i think who had helped write on renaissance he was like you don't understand black culture we have all these samples on here that's why it has eight writers and she actually was like so embarrassed because everyone started getting on her for being racist i think that's just really funny that that have even you been seeing Courtney Love do a lot? I have seen that. But who's asking? Who asked people these questions? I don't know, but that... Because she said something about Taylor Swift, right? She yeah, said something about Taylor Swift. She said something about Olivia Rodrigo. She said something about Beyonce. She said something about somebody else, too. Well, all I know is that I had seen Taylor Swift one first, right? And everyone was like, ugh, stop using people's um, names that we have to look up. Like, they were trying to be like... I don't know who Courtney Love is. Oh. And then I saw one about Beyonce and I was looking at those comments and they were saying, who is asking her these questions? Like, who is asking her? I'm I don't know. It was like a magazine or something. There is no way a magazine is asking her that. Like, I just always What do you wonder, think about Taylor Swift? It's such a weird question. I always wonder because I will be thinking like, I feel like we'll see these like reported, blah, 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 says blah, blah, blah. And it'll be like the most heinous thing about another person. I'm like, who asked that? <laughs> That's really funny. And um, Reba said, I love Beyonce. <sighs> no, Reba said, no. Uh, well, she said, what? no. She said, um, what do you think? She said, do you think, wh which version do you think of Joe Lane is better, Dolly Parton, or this? And she said, no. I, I wasn't there for that. <laughs> she, said, um, she said, no. I remember I'm her saying, they said, what do you think about Beyonce coming in the music industry? She said, I, I mean, the country music scene. She said, I love it. Like, I just love that, you know, people can do whatever they want to and blah, 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 blah. And then they said, some people say that Jolie's version of Jolene is anti feminist. And she said, <laughs> she, she said, nope, bye. Oh, it says if she prefers Beyonce's over. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you were saying, um, I don't even know what I thought you said. Something else. But I don't remember. I didn't remember her saying that. And she said, nope, bye. And she got the hell out of it. <laughs> no, her. bye is crazy. And also, how does TMZ know where these people are? How does the guy who sings to the people know where they are? I don't know. He has to find it, like, on, I don't know. Because that is so uncomfortable. And he's saying, you know, I can't get enough. Jayla would have loved it. If he, if he said, I'm still, I'm still singing from the black. <laughs> And she said, oh, wow, you know it. No, she wouldn't. I actually really like J-Lo. I don't. I think that that, that, that documentary uh, Let's watch your doc tonight. Let's watch This Is Me Now. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can let's do this. Let's watch the doc to This Is Me Now. Okay, let's watch the This Is Me Now. For no. Real. 
No, no, we have to. No. Because she said, this is me now. <laughs> I don't care about it, though. No. I would rather watch the doc. Okay, but... Okay, so she... Okay. She had This Is Me Now. Mm -hmm. And then while she was doing it, she also filmed the doc, and they both came out at the same time. Yes. That is kind of crazy. Um, Maybe they're in the same movie. I don't want it. No, I don't think it is in the and same And then movie. also, how did she get all of those... Do you remember when she, did you hear that she asked Zendaya to be in it? She asked, she said, did you see what was going? <laughs> um, Spa said no, they said no, this is busy. you never seen that clip? No. Because it's so embarrassing. And she's going, wow, um, ask again, ask again. And, she, and the assistant's going, well, I don't know. She's going, ask again. Ask and, again? You know, it was like something about like they have a wedding or something. They're like, eh, see, see whose wedding it is or something like that. And I was like, what is going on? Does it matter whose wedding it is? I don't know. They don't want to be in your thing. That's okay. really sad, though. But one, um, what was I going to say? We're, we're gonna have the J-Lo um, fans upset We are <laughs> I'm just kidding I haven't said anything bad about J-Lo um, Except for her orange drink Every single invitation to this event oh, wait, that was, uh, And they said Lizzo not available <laughs> That is what they said Oh my god why is well, at least they She's scrubbing like it from the internet Cause the full clip isn't available either, and I think that that's so embarrassing. That is embarrassing and sad. And she and said, "I want you to call really him." Calm. I, and what did she think she was gonna do? Like say, you know what? Scratch the wedding. Yeah, scratch the that wedding. That I'm in, crazy. not even going to. I'm in the wedding. She said he was in the wedding, and that's crazy. Let's watch that. <laughs> but I don't even know where that is. We'll What's look that it up. On? I guess I'll watch it. Um, we're going to report back when we find out all of J-Lo's, um, all of her history on This Is Me Now. Um, but I do know somebody that I know was in it. There's a couple people what? that we know. We definitely know. Oh, somebody. in the movie? Yeah. Um, yeah. That, yeah. They did like astrology signs. They play like zodiac signs. It looks a high budget, what I saw. Yeah, because it was her budget. She has money to do it. Not anymore. That's fake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, because <laughs> she's not going to make this bad. Okay, did any, does anybody actually her thing showed 550 watch her, her movies? Copies. It did not get 500 <laughs> sales first week. Yes, it did. <laughs> That's what my, my physical therapist Can was like. I feel so bad about her J-Lo. Um, I think this is, is really sad. I think it's now. sad when that you when you become famous, you won't be famous forever. First. I think that concept is disgusting. That is very scary. Um, because like, not that she's not famous. I'm not saying Jello's not famous, but I'm saying to the height of your your career, you'll never always be at the height forever. This is her first album to miss the top twenty on the chart. Really? And it was fourteen thousand copies. Okay. Is that good? No, no, it's not. A new album is the lowest charting of her career. Okay. Oh. Um, I like J Lo. I do too. I don't. But I think that I can like her. We're gonna watch This Is Me Now and I'll like it. We should do a video going, we watched This Is Me Now. <laughs> and nobody's gonna watch that video because nobody watched This Is Me Now. Nobody oh cares. My God. Uh, um, let, let us know about down below if you guys were tuned in. Are you one of the fourteen thousand copies of this is me now that's so 14,000 copies is crazy. I don't know. Yeah, let us know. Like, okay, give me give me through two J Lo songs that you are like, wow, you gotta listen to this J Lo song. Um Right. And maybe like uh, yeah. I love it. And that'll be your um your sign that you got to the end of the video. Let us know. Either say you you have no songs to get from J. -Lo. Yeah, say you don't <laughs> care you I don't, don't care. Jail. Don't talk about her again. Or you can say the songs that we should tune into. We gave our five, which are probably her most popular songs. That's... Jenny from the Block, Booty, um, Dinero. She has one song with on somebody the floor. that I can't remember that's really old. But I swear it's like something about Jenny with the Block, but it's like, uh, I don't know. She's like, I'm that, I'm her. She, she, she. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Um. Anyways, yeah. so let us know. What? What is that man doing? Did you see him in the... Oh. What? He's been the one that's been talking this whole time. He was in the camera. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a man behind the car. Look at him. I see. 
And I said, what was that? Because I, I, I was hearing something talk. I was hearing something too. Um, he said something talk. I was hearing something too. And I said, oh. Um, anyway, so if you guys stay in this video, let us know what you like about J-Lo. Um, and put us on if we need to be put on. If not, please um, zip your lips. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace out.